everybody and welcome to a new tutorial. Today I will show you how to draw this piece in AutoCAD 3D for this time. So I will explain you very quick how is the procedure. So first of all we will draw this image, this drawing basically, like a basic 2D drawing. But first let's get started. I will show first this is the interface for the 2D drawing. But when it comes to modeling here is the 3D part. You don't need to change almost nothing. You see this big corner go with home and automatically it will be something 3d so let's get started this is very easy so the first thing that we can see is that we have here two circles the first circle is with a radius of 15 and the other one it's with a diameter of 15 so that means two circles with the radius 15 and 7.5 so let's get started you have here the circle you can also write like a basic 2d drawing so circle go whenever you want 15 and if you cannot see the circle you can go zoom in zoom out or double click on the mouse wheel the next circle it will be a circle from the same center you see 7.5 units the next step are these two lines so lines of 60 from this point exactly here so you can go with the simple line, you can type L or line, it's basically the same thing. Find this point, active the ortho command and go with 60 units. For example, if you want to change the view, you can just press shift and the mouse wheel and start to drag. And you see, you can move the drawings whenever you want. But because I, I highly recommend to you, first of all, before of everything to have the base, I will go with the top plan here, so click on it and we start to draw exactly how it is here. So go with 60 units for each side and draw another line, 60 and now again offset with 15 again to have exactly a parallel line and I will explain you now why. Here we have a little line with the uh, length of 12 units. So I have this line exactly in the center and I'll go now with two lines here, six and here, six units. And here I have a, a space of nine units again. So let's get started. I will go first of all with the line of six units. Six units again, so line in the other side. Join command, why not? to have one line not two. Offset this command with nine units, I said you before, to have a distance of nine units. Extend now this line. And now start to trim. Trim the extra parts. And go again with line. Find here the corner line again and make the union with the other you can delete this line as well now and here as you see we have another line but at a distance of 18 units compared to this line so let's construct them so line from one corner to the other offset again for parallel line offset with 18 units and now let's start to delete everything we don't need. So delete those two lines, go with the trim command, delete this arch. And now go again at home button. What I recommend to you is to break those two lines and I will explain you why. So first let's break it. I will use the break command. Exactly this line from here. And I see, you see a little break. Extend this line as well delete this line and just copy them it's like a basic 2d drawing it's nothing facing if you have questions about how to draw a 2d model in autocad please check the playlist from my description and also you'll have something right here so let's continue now i have two lines in each side i will go with the join command it's very important join command select everything here just this part enter and i have just one surrounding you see just one piece 
now go with the home again and let's use because it's very common let's use press pull it's basically an extrude but it's more advanced so i highly recommend press pull so press pull and go with nine units let's check so here i have nine units i was correct so this part is nine and this part is 30. so let's build the other part as well so mm, i will go again with press pull you can type and go with 30. and because my drawing is start to see uh, very quickly don't forget if you want to check how is the 3d model from each angle press shift and wheel of the mouse and start to drag and you will have it okay because i want to see clear more clearly exactly my drawing i will go in the view section and visual styles and i'll go shaded with edges and now it's more visible more clear every shape is more clear for the windows users you have here 2D frame, so it's not a secret actually, and you have all the menu right here. Because I'm a MacBook user, I must use this menu. But it's not a problem. Go with the home button again, and I will show you now a little trick. I want to have not two pieces, I want to have just one. So go with the union command, select everything and press enter. And now I have a single object. Now let's focus on this little triangle. So this triangle have the dimensions 30 minus 9, so 21 here. And here in this side, we have 60 minus 80, so it will be 42, you see it. So 21 and 42. But because I don't want to draw here, it's the better idea to go in this plane. So it means in front to be 100% at 90 degrees straight into this piece go with the wheel to drag it down and let's start to build now a triangle but i will show you why build a line you see you cannot go down this is a problem and because of it make sure that you are in front okay or keep it like this is the same thing basically and now go with tools and start to search new uts this is the basically the, the orientation here and go with view and now because you selected the view you can go with line wherever you want you see it you have now a lot of freedom so 21 units first and then 42 units and click here in this intersection so now you have the triangle go with the join command again enter and shift this part and now let's go with press pull and now we need here an maybe a measure of seven if i'm not wrong yeah it's seven press seven and here we have it but it's very important now go every time go with these settings my advice for you is is to have all this checked because it's more it's much much easier when you are drawing something so select this press the move go with move and very important now go exactly in the center very important and now you can also disable the word to command and go in this part exactly in this center you see it the green triangle okay put it there and you have the left triangle here you can delete it go again with the union command to make one object you see it you have one object it's perfectly on the middle everything is fine but it doesn't matter too much but if you want to be 100 percent precise of your drawing i highly recommend you to delete the extra features and i will show you what i'm referring so have this thing it's not a joke deleted and here you see this little circle these lines okay select them all go with the move command and move them a little bit further it's not a problem and go now with the oops command because this command it will make reappear the last object that you have deleted so select these lines delete them and now you have exactly what we need go with the home button or we can rotate it you see it's exactly what you, we needed 
I hope this video helped you. As always, don't forget to like, share, subscribe and see you next time.